Hello and welcome. My name is Charmaine Houston from Center of the Heart, Heart Therapy and Counseling. And today I wanted to share with you a very important art directive in the process of integration. After we've had a mystical experience or dark night of the soul or a psychedelic experience, however your experience has taken place or whatever you have gone through to go through this, now we're at the stage of grounding. And that's one of the most important stages before we begin on our experience of integration. Oftentimes when we've been through an experience using plant medicines or powerful entheogens, what happens is a shift in our psyche and our consciousness from one state to another very rapidly. And what can also often happen to people in this experience is a sense of disconnection from their body disconnection from reality even. And so we begin this process by grounding. And we often use different meditations, different yogic techniques, and different art techniques as we'll be doing today in this first module. So to begin with, we are going to be doing a walking meditation outside, gathering natural materials and bringing them back to our safe space, our safe place to create whatever it is we feel is needed in the moment to be expressed. With art therapy, and especially art directives, the way we work is from uh, a place of spontaneity. What we're doing is we're allowing the unconscious to come forward as we create. So to begin with, I invite you to pause, Take some deep breaths. Allow yourself to be in a place in your home or wherever you may be that feels safe, that feels that you won't be interrupted and you will be able to move into this journey, move into this experience um, in a way that touches a piece of your heart, a piece of your soul and allows for an opening and a grounding and a healing before we move on with integration any further. The materials you'll need for this exercise are the natural materials that you'll be gathering from outside, a way to attach them. So either a glue gun works well or string yarn, wire, whatever it is that you find, whatever you have around the house or that you gather that feels like it has meaning. Um, another thing you may want is a board to create on, unless you're doing a three-dimensional sculpture or a piece of paper, um, colored board, and sparkles work well fabric. So just taking a look around your home, maybe even uh, going to the dollar store if you choose and finding, noticing materials that speak to you that you'll want to use in this activity. So to begin with, we'll take a few deep breaths, just grounding and focusing, and we'll move into our meditation. So to begin with, I invite you to imagine yourself in a safe place. Imagining yourself in a special place in nature and just connecting with this. Taking a few deep breaths, pressing your feet into the ground and just allowing yourself to feel a sense of safety around you before you begin on your meditation. And beginning with the meditation, we will connect to our breath, connect to any sensations you're feeling inside. And just allowing before you begin to have five deep belly breaths, breathing deep into the belly, activating your parasympathetic nervous system. This is a very grounding breath. Feeling your feet on the ground. And as you continue with this walking meditation, noticing any sensations that you feel on your feet in each moment of each step. Staying connected to your breath, 
and staying connected to your body. Noticing materials, noticing natural materials around you, sticks, leaves, pine cones, flowers, whatever it is that crosses your path, know that there's a reason for that. And if it feels right, gathering those materials. There may be materials that are still growing. And so a good practice to get into is just asking for permission, noticing if there's a willingness for that material to come with you or to stay, even with rocks that we pick up. Staying connected to nature, staying connected to the sensations inside, and staying connected to the purpose of grounding. And we do this to strengthen our aura, to bring us back into the body, into the reality that we live in here on earth. I invite you for as long as you need to continue your walk, continue your journey, choosing the materials that have meaning for you. You may have taken a bag with you or a box with you and just continuing to grab these materials to take back with you to create into something meaningful. Return back to your sacred space and create whatever work of art you are drawn to make. There are no rules about this process of creating. Once you've gathered all of your materials, and mindfully chosen what pieces you may want to include in your art today. I invite you to take a deep breath, coming back into the body, feeling your feet on the ground, feeling your seat beneath you on the chair you're sitting on, or if you're sitting on the ground, just feeling yourself supported in this moment. We're going to begin creating from the eyes of the heart. So often when we create and make art, we're thinking about what it is we're making. I invite you in this moment to let go of that and come back to your breath, come back to the body and just allow the process to emerge as however you see fit. There are no rules. There's no right or wrong. Um, just allowing a curiosity of what is yet to be shown. And so with that, I will begin. I have my glue gun, I have some paints, all of my natural materials I found grab some pipe cleaners, some sparkly glue, glitter glue. And this is your creation. Whatever this may look like is going to be different for everybody. So again, just allowing the process to unfold, allowing the art to come from a place inside, inside your heart, inside the body, knowing there are no mistakes, knowing that every stroke is how it is meant to be. Feeling the sensations of the materials as you create. Noticing the smells, the textures, allowing the process to become a meditation in itself.
Staying connected to your breath. Staying connected to any sensations that come up in the body. As you continue to create. Knowing that everything in this moment has meaning. Feeling a connection to the earth as you use these natural, natural materials creatively, spontaneously. And with curious intention. Staying connected to your breath, connected to any thoughts, sensations, feelings, or memories that may come up. Knowing that you're safe and protected in this moment to express yourself. The purpose of this art directive isn't about what you're creating or what the final outcome will be, but rather about the process, about the sensations that arise as you create the thoughts, the feelings. About creating a sense of grounding and safety, bringing us back to nature, and continue creating in whatever way that feels meaningful until you feel that it's finished. There's no time limit, no rules. And when you feel that your process is complete, that you've done everything needed, I invite you to just take a moment to be with it, to be with what you've created here. Breathing, full breaths. Again, feeling your feet on the ground feeling your seat beneath you, feeling supported. And just notice if anything comes up, any curiosities, any questions, maybe there's something else that's needed. 
allowing the process to continue to unfold in whatever way it has meaning for you. Once you've finished your creation, and you've taken some moments to reflect on what might be needed, what might be, need changing or altering, or just taking some reflection on how you feel looking at this piece of art you've created using natural materials, I invite you to set your piece up in an area, in a place where you can view it, where you can look at it. Created mine on this board. And as I'm looking at my piece, I'm noticing it's it's quite busy, but there's some stillness to it as well. So what I invite you to do next is take your journal out and just begin automatic writing. Just begin writing, allowing the words to flow from you, knowing that the, the words as well are coming from this place within coming from an unconscious place to help you ground. And you can either write a poet, poem or just write automatically. No choice is yours. So notice any feelings or sensations that might ha happen for you throughout the week. Any new realizations? My piece I'm going to put up on my artboard here just to kind of continue to reflect on what's being shown here. And if there's any new information on activity, I often do when we process the art together is notice if there's a place within the art where your eye goes to. And as you focus on maybe one area that stands out for you, notice if there's any associations, any feelings you might have connected to that and journal about that. Thank you for creating with me today. I look forward to making more art with you. Um, again, my name is Charmaine Hewson, and I'm the center of the heart. Blessings to all of you.